Hey everyone, it's Than from Tidal Gardens. Something really cool happened the other night that I wanted to share with you guys. We actually saw our mini maxi carpet and anemones spawning. For years now, we've been propagating mini maxi and anemones. They're pretty easy to propagate by cutting them in half and then letting them heal for a month or two. Most aquacultured coral are asexually produced by either letting them naturally split or by propagation techniques like cutting and remounting. It's however very uncommon to see sexual reproduction. The reason for this has to do with moonlight cycles. It's well documented that corals and anemones synchronize their spawning behavior with the phases and gravitational pull of the moon. In home aquariums, very few lighting fixtures provide moonlight that changes with the correct phase of the moon. I suppose the other reason not too many people see spawning events is that most of the time hobbyists aren't looking at their tanks in the middle of the night. I know that personally I don't spend many nights out at the greenhouse, but on this particular occasion my friends were in town and we decided to shoot some pictures at night. So you may be wondering why exactly corals and other inverts rely so much on the moon for sexual reproduction. Corals and anemones are broadcast spawners. This means that they expel sperm and eggs into the water column. As you can imagine, the reef is a really big place and there's no guarantee that an egg will come in contact with sperm. Also, eggs of just about every kind make a great meal for free swimming plankton in the ocean that are incredibly active at night. If they mistime their release by as little as 15 minutes, the chance of successful fertilization goes way down. Thus, they use the moon, sunset, and chemical receptors to determine the optimal time to spawn. So while we were out there taking a look at the tanks, we came across this one that is so cloudy that it's opaque. It's hard to see more than six inches into the aquarium, that's how cloudy it was. My first reaction to seeing a cloudy tank is, oh no, what went wrong? But as you can see, the other tanks that are connected to the same system are crystal clear. Here you can clearly see the small white eggs floating in the water column. As with every anemone tank we have, we use a sponge filter on the drain line to prevent the anemones from jumping into the overflow. In this situation, however, it's keeping the sperm and eggs circulating in the small 30-gallon tank and not just getting flushed down into the rest of the system. The only one that was not too impressed with the situation was this little fox face. I felt bad for him. He was looking around like, what the hell, bro? Get me out of here. Yeah, my friend Dave was there saying, hey, Than, um, this fish is about to jump on my head. So we gave him another home entirely. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have any of you seen a spawning event happen in your tanks? It's story time. Post it in the comments below. I've heard that clams oftentimes spawn more readily than corals do. Anyhow, I hope you liked this video, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get all the latest updates on this channel.